Some people run away the second they hear the phrase math problem. But I promise, the story I'm about to tell you is pretty easy to wrap your head around. I'll admit that it does come from the world of mathematics, but how could you not be curious about a simple problem that's never been solved? I'm talking about the Goldbach conjecture, and it's one of the oldest and best-known unsolved problems in all of mathematics. But it's also a great example of something being deceptively simple. So here's the story. In June of 1742, a Prussian mathematician named Christian Goldbach wrote a letter to another mathematician, Leonard Euler. Yes, that Euler, the guy who the irrational number E is named after. But that's another story. Anyway, in this letter, Goldbach laid out his famous conjecture. It was refined a bit over the years, but as of now, it says this. All even whole numbers greater than two are the sum of two prime numbers. Or basically, you can get any even number above two by adding up two prime numbers. If you're really rusty on your math terminology, a prime number is a number that can only be divided by one and itself, like 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. So let's try Goldbach's conjecture on an even number like 28. You can add a couple prime numbers to get to 28, like 5 plus 23, or 11 plus 17. Seems innocent, right? Mathematicians have run the numbers, as it were, and you can actually do this with lots of even numbers. There's even a Goldbach calculator you can find online where you can put in a ridiculously huge even number and it'll find some prime numbers to add up to it. But just because every number you try works doesn't mean Goldbach's conjecture will hold up for every even number in the universe. For the problem to be solved, a mathematician has to come up with a way to prove that there will never be an even number that doesn't work. Just checking numbers is never enough. You have to show that something will always undoubtedly work. That's known as a proof in the world of mathematics, and you haven't truly finished a problem until that proof has been found. Anyway, what are you waiting for? You've got until 2042 if you want to solve this problem before its 300th birthday. That's 23 years away.